Hi guys, nice day. I'm Adrian and today I would like to teach you how to install IP Pro DVR CMS installer. Okay, you may find it the software, the CMS installer in your CD. If you have the CD, please insert it to your laptop or desktop and you will be able to find the software inside the CD. If you are without the CD, please proceed with the second choice. You may download it from here. Just copy the link, copy, and paste it to your browser. Okay, it shows up IP Pro and EC Cloud DVR. Okay, proceed with the download. Download anyway. Okay. We are downloading the file now. It will take a couple minutes until the file is finished. Yeah. Alright, after the download is done, please go into the folder. Okay, there you go. This is the file which uh, we have downloaded. It's stored at drive C download. So, what you're gonna do is the next stage is please extract this rare file. It will take a while. Alright. It's almost done. Okay, there you go. So, the folder is extracted here. Open it up. Go into client. CMS. And then, there we go. This is the installer. Double click. Okay, you may choose Chinese or English for the language. Okay. Proceed with next, 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 next. Install. Okay, there we go. So, after the installation is done, the desktop shortcut or icon will be shown up over here. Yeah, here's it. All right, finish. After the installation is done, now I would like to teach you how to insert the device into your CMS and op some operations or basic functions in the CMS. Double click the CMS, open it up. Okay, just cancel with this one. Okay, to add the device, please go to the number 4 icon, which is setting. Click it. Alright, okay, so you will be able to see these numbers of buttons over here. Please select the number 4 buttons, which is add device. After that, please select ECID for the connections method. ECID. Okay. After that, please insert the ECID of your DVR, the username, and the password. So for my demo, I will have my ID is this one. Okay. And the username and password of my DVR is admin admin, and then the device name. Uh, it's whatever name you want to put for your DVR. I will put um, my office. Okay. And then I have a uh, eight channel of DVR. So the number of channel I will change it to eight. After it's done, confirm. So you were able to see my office. It shows up over here. The device which I have added just now. So to go to the live view, preview, we go to the icon number 1. Okay, my office is shops over here. Okay, so we can double click on this, my office, to play the video. Double click. Okay, there you go. The video is playing and we can double click to stop it and play it back, double click 
Okay, besides, you can change the speed screen of this. Now we have a 16 speed screen. So we can change it to 4, change it to 8, and the maximum channel or speed screen is 49. So 49. Okay, let's say we have a 4 channel, 4 speed screen channel. We can switch to the next channel. Now we are at the first 4 speed screen channel. So we are moving to second speed screen and then the third one for speed screen channel and so on. Yep, you can switch it easily and freely. So you can double click from channel 1 to channel 8 to play it manually one by one. Yeah, just like what I'm, I'm doing now. Okay, you can double click to stop it. Besides, you also could open now. If you open num channel number one until number eight at the same time, and you can close it at the same time. Okay. So here we go. You can double click to enlarge, double click to minimize. Besides, we also please right click on the specific channel, and you will be able to switch the stream. This, you were able to switch it to HD stream for color image. Yep, so it's color right. And we'll take, we change it to normal stream. Yeah, but which is smoother. Okay. For the playback functions, please go to the second icon for playback. Okay, please ensure you have selected your device and then this blue boxes is selected on your is show up on your selected device. After that, please select after that please select remote for the remote playback because we are doing it remotely, we are buffering the video from the DVR. Okay, after select the remote, please select the date remote okay for the date i will select let's say 20 of april last wednesday and search okay so the blue bar the red bar will be shot up here and you can select any of the regions it's from 00, 0 until 24 hours is a 24 hour system okay let's say i select a uh, around 5 so the video is buffering it's loading over here let me see so it will take some time until the video is loading completely okay so you can see the, you can double click to enlarge it or double click to minimize it Okay, you can see this is uh, 20th of April and today is uh, Today is 23. Yeah So you can minimize it and of course you can capture it capture the image The screenshot is successful and save in drive D Okay Double click to minimize and then you can just stop everything or pause or play and then there is one more important thing is that okay we have a sports fit screen over here so we are allowed to play back four channels of video at the same time so actually we are allowed to choose the channel over here one until eight so you can just select any channel that you want to play back but if you are playing back three channels at the same time, the loading speed will be slower. So you can try to notice the loading speed. Okay, so this is the speed of loading three channels of video. So we just stop it. So we will just try it out. Buffering one single channel of video, it will be run smoother and faster. So, you see that? 
the video is buffered less than two seconds it's much more faster rather than you are playing back three channels at the same time so bear in mind we are, we are allowed to choose this channel for the playback freely 1 until 8 if, if you have a 16 channel of DVR it will show up over here 1 until 16 channel so you can just pick any of this video you want to check out or play back over here okay now we will proceed with the backup functions in the CMS system so let's close all the live view close all and select the third icon which is backup so this is the device my office and then please select remote as we are buffering the video from the DVR and select the date which you are looking for search okay so as you can see there is a device name my office num the channel number one two three and so on and this is a start time end time over here so each folder the recording durations is one hour so I will just show you how to bake up so I will back up this file the third channel from 13 until 14 alright after you have selected the file sell, please click backup then you can just create a new folder for storage purpose I will just name it as a backup video ok so backup select the folder so as soon as you have selected the folder the recording will be start soon so just hold a, hold a second okay there you go it's one percent over here so it's backup it's, the backup is running now so it's two and three so the file is too big Mm, you will take a couple minutes until the backup is done so as soon as the file has finished download 100% you can rearrange it according to the channel time something like that yeah so after the download is done you can go to your PC drive D CMS so this is the folder which we have created just now backup video double click it okay so these are the three file which we have backup just now so you can go through the detail the date 2016 april 22 so it's uh, 1 pm it's 13 and then until uh, 1359 so this is the zero which is the file number zero so they have the same date same time file number one same date same time as well file number two so we can just open it up just enlarge it so you can see the time over here it's 13.00 so this recording this is the file and at the end until a 13 18 okay so we just see the last file the last video file which is number two so it's 13 37 start so you can play your video over here so that's all for the backup video method for the CSM system. All of these are the basic functions and operations of your of the CMS system. So for further functions you can exploit on your own. And I think that's all for today and thank you for watching and have a nice day. Thank you.